When you want to get the word out about who you are and what you do, business cards are still a great way to do it. And we have a real eye-catching way to draw folks to your information. Let's head into the craft corner because we're making some really amazing business card holders. Our friend Elizabeth Westbeer is back from Silver Wings Studio, and you have come up with a really fun way to just get the cards just on display, mm -hmm. easy grab and go, exactly. and that's fantastic, no matter what your business may be. Correct. So how are we making these? We roll out a slab of clay, then we cut out using a T-square, which I can't cut a Those straight line, so are I have to use it. Awesome. I, you cut out a rectangle that's four and a half inches long, three and a half inches wide. Perfect size for business cards, a little bigger than the card. Then you use a very blunt pencil, and you go through, and at one inch, you, can, you score a line. Mm -hmm. And again, at one and a half inches above that, you score another line. Okay. You can slip it, or you can just, if it, your clay's sticky enough, most of the time it sticks together. Oh, okay. And when you say slip it, that means using it's that liquid clay to kind of glue it in place. liquid clay to glue it in place. Okay. At this point, before you do your back, or if you before you do your front, if you want to use stamps, mm -hmm. I picked up some stamps when I was in India and Thailand, and or you have little rubber stamps oh you can my use. Goodness. Those are amazing. I love the ones mm -hmm. that you have from India and Thailand. These are beautiful, and they're just mm -hmm. nice little carvings that make a really neat impression. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. So, and once you start folding it up, mm -hmm. you can leave it and let it dry until it's not tacky anymore mm -hmm. and that's when you can come back and fine-tune your angles which is what you've done here on mm -hmm. this okay. and then and then you dry it all the way and you biscuit okay and that way you have your cards laying back at the correct angle right and that's important mm -hmm. to be able to grab them easily okay so we've gotten to this point like once impression. you uh, once you finish you bisque fire it to whatever the clay company says to okay it, which is usually around 1800 degrees and I found these marvelous glazes that are crystalline glazes neat and I've just been having fun playing with them and they make different little blues and greens and they're lovely or you can use under glaze and dot things and paint things and then um, use a transparent gla glaze over it well, like I did which you've the, done with the white you know, one back mm -hmm. here very neat these are amazing and they're a lot of fun and you want to give one a try here's what you need to do is to get the instructions go to our website wls.com click on the craft corner link and we will get you all set and you'll be on your way to making these great business card holders or finding out where Elizabeth is going to be so you can buy one that she's made already. Check out the blue one and the green one are showcasing that really cool new glaze she just talked about. Elizabeth Westbier, thanks so much for sharing these great projects from Silver Wing Studio. Kind of neat. They are. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And we're also watching showers and thunderstorms.